Oh, hi. Uh, my name is He. It's spelled as H-E. And that's it. <laughs> it is not my pronoun. <laughs> People get confused all the time, especially here in Melbourne. You know, the capital city of pronouns. <laughs> the other day, the girl was like, Oh my god, your parents are so progressive. I was like, no, they just wanted a boy. <laughs> I don't have a dick. Uh, but I do have big dick energy, so... Thank you for that. <laughs> Works out for me, you know? Uh, as you can tell from my outfit, I was made in China. Anyone else? Okay, I guess just those tables and <laughs> chairs. <laughs> Maybe the curtains too, you know? Like, it's, it's really tricky to be Chinese uh, nowadays, you know, especially during pandemic. I remember during first lockdown, after first lockdown, I was roaming around in the city and this guy just yelled at me. He was like, yo, go back to China. I was like, sir, there's no flight. How the fuck am I gonna go, you know? <laughs> it's so fucking expensive as well. Uh, I'm broke, so. <laughs> yeah, actually I'm from a really small town in southwest part of China. It's called Chongqing. Yeah, it sounds literally like Ching Chong. <laughs> but reversed, you know? It's like a racism reversed. <laughs> literally. <laughs> also everyone there just hate white people, so. I know. <laughs> yeah, I'm really happy to be here. Uh, all my family back in China. I moved to Australia, Melbourne, uh, three years ago, right before lockdown. Uh, I know I'm lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to brag it, but I feel like as a nerdy Chinese, I aced the six lockdowns <laughs> like a champion, you know? <laughs> it just feels like my childhood all over again. <laughs> so isolated. <laughs> So depressing. <laughs> but minus all the mathematics assignment though. <laughs> Just Zoom meeting, Netflix, YouTube, and Pornhub. <laughs> At the same time, you know? <laughs> it's, it's doable. <laughs> Sometimes a coworker girl like, oh, who is breathing so hard? <laughs> I was like, fuck off, Jennifer. You know? <laughs> I hate HR. Oh. <laughs> Always on my ass. <laughs> Tried to get to know more about Australia. The other day I quizzed my mom. I said, Mom, do you know what Australians are scared of? She was like, what? I was like, magpies. <laughs> they were like, oh, what? I was like, yeah, when spring comes, all the magpies become assholes. <laughs> That's swooping pecking and kill you. <laughs> she was like, what the actual fuck? <laughs> She's like, I don't know magpies could be such a jerk, you know? Because in China, they're the symbol of joy. <laughs> so I didn't know they're gonna bring death to people. <laughs> and she continues like, oh my God, if those flying jerks would be in China, they wouldn't be swooping. They would be deep fried. <laughs> season with Sichuan sauce and serve you hot. I was like, oh, mom, stop. You make me feel so hungry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I like my life here in Australia. I moved out of China because uh, I feel sad and pathetic uh, back in China. Not sure if you know about uh, us. You know, if you're like me over the age of 27, not dating, not married, you'll be called leftover ladies. I know, it is brutal. <laughs> but uh, I love leftovers. <laughs> or yummy as fuck. Ugh. Chinese, they don't know Australians love Chinese leftover, you know? That was literally my Tinder profile. <laughs> Chinese leftover, yummy as fuck. <laughs> Take me home and eat me. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Yeah, thanks. I know. Yeah, thanks. I was really popular. 
Yeah, I never hide the fact I love dating apps because I was really desperate and <laughs> really horny as well. So I went on all the dating apps, you know, Tinder, Bumble, and the Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> love it, you know. My friends, uh, on the other hand, they're very conservative. They're like, huh, oh, don't. Tinder is just for hookups. I was like, guys, hold on, you know? Tinder is not only great for hookups, it's also great for learning English or getting a visa, you know? <laughs> so useful for immigrants. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure how you guys, like, I, I mentioned earlier that my name is H E, but in Chinese, it actually spelled as like this. Just give me one second. <laughs> you know, I need to do all the strokes. That's it. Is it weird? I could be dancing, you know? <laughs> you can never figure out what I'm doing, you know, spell my names. But it, it, it's, it, it's, I'm like really fascinated by the English and the Chinese, the difference, you know? I like how you guys, if you only speak English and be your parents, you can be so elegant in front of your kids if you want to swear. Because other day I saw the dad try to swear, and he was like, what the F U C K? I was like, fuck, that's so hot. <laughs> so considerate for your kids, you know? Like, how you spell that? I was like, I cannot help thinking how my dad would react, you know? Of course, he doesn't speak English, so the only thing he can do is spelling out all the strokes. <laughs> You're like, what the? Vertical stroke, horizontal stroke, a slant stroke, another vertical stroke, another stroke, and a ho, oh, wait, I'm closing the fucking character, okay? <laughs> you know, like strokes after strokes, you don't know whether he's swearing or he's playing Tai Chi. <laughs> and all the grandmas in the park, they're probably swearing at you. <laughs> then what the fuck are you looking at? Fuck what? You know? <laughs> This is art, you know? Fuck you, fuck you, fam.